Hello Taurus, this is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Alright guys, we have the Two of Pentacles feeling a little um, unbalanced. Not really sure of you know where you want to lend your time and energy to at this point. Um, I think you know you're leaning more towards you're leaning more towards something and going forward but I, I don't really think that you've made up your mind yet okay hmm again here balance with this person um, really trying to do things the right way make the right decisions for themselves um, and, and really trying to be logical about it okay not bad okay let's see what's keeping you guys from this person what's keeping Taurus from this person two of cups hmm maybe you guys are just not sure if um, you know you are sharing this energy of love between the two of you okay maybe you're unsure because maybe there's somebody else that you are interested in as well okay and you're not really sure which which person is better suited for you maybe we got two twos here and those are all about like choices let's see and this person is just trying to move on by themselves um not really wanting to but again you know it's like they feel like that this is what's logical this is what you know they should do reasonably you know, let go of the hurt, let go of the pain, let go of past issues, and just kind of keep it moving. Okay? So I feel like you guys are really not sure if this person, um, you know, if they're still interested, if they still love you. Because I feel like, you know, they, there is definitely a part of you that still loves them. And you almost feel like this is the end to your yang here, okay? Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. What's currently going on for Taurus? Feeling stuck. Feeling stuck, just kind of taking your hands off of it, feeling like, um, you know, what will be will be here. And, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you want to go forward. You're just really not sure how this situation is going to work out, how, how, this, how this pans out for you, you know. In, in one sense, you feel like it's best just to, however things have been going thus far, just to let it continue that way. But, you know, on the other hand, you want to give it a little push. You want to give it a little, you know, help here is what I'm getting. Let's see what's currently going on for them. Three of Pentacles working, building on something here. Um, I feel like this person is probably uh, really, like, working to make money working with people to you know truly build um to build something in their life that has to do with their finances okay um something that's going to bring them some abundance here let me go ahead and clarify this two of cups let me clarify this two of cups why, why is this two of cups here for Taurus? why is this two of cups here the two of cups We have the Six of Cups there. Well, um, the Six of Cups clarifying the Two of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that you have walked away from, um, but this is also your soulmate, somebody you have you share karma with that you've you've possibly spent um, many lifetimes with before. Okay, or a lifetime with before, but this is somebody that's definitely familiar to you. Um, maybe you're going back and forth between two people from your past, okay? But what I'm getting from this is, is that this is, you're wondering if this person still feels the same. You're wondering that. And I feel like you're considering going back, but you're not sure about it. You're not sure if this person will take you back. You're not sure if you want to continue, you know, if, if there's enough love there to even continue, you know, trying to, you know, make this work out. Okay. Let's see what your outside influences are here. 
something like a junk there. The fool. The fool. Something you left behind. Um, something that you... <laughs> I'm, I'm getting that you felt very foolish in this connection before. You felt like you took too many chances, or this person took too many chances, um, silly chances. And some of you, I'm getting that you feel like you should have left a long time ago. But you're still not sure if it was the right decision. It's like, you know, you're really kind of in, in two minds here. You're really kind of in two minds here. Wanting to leave it behind, but at the same time wanting to go back. It's like you're, you're being pulled. You're being pulled because there's definitely, um, there's a love here. There is definitely love here. Okay, I don't know what happened, but let me see what this is. Yeah. Hmm. What's influencing them is um, they're hurt. This person's hurt, and I feel like they're hurt maybe because of something that they have done. Because this is all about having regrets, feeling like all is lost here. Okay. Feeling like, you know, there is no reconnect. There, you know, not really seeing that there is, like, those two cups still there. There's still love between the two of you. And I feel like this person is um, really... They're struggling. This this person's struggling here. Okay. They want to do the right thing. They want to make something balanced and right. They want to move on. But they keep running into this roadblock of feeling really regretful, really sorrowful, feeling like, you know, you know, there was there was an undeniable love here. There still is an undeniable love here. But it's if you guys can, you know, move on past this. I don't feel like either one of you has a confidence that, you know, this can work out. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. The Knight of Swords. Mm, clarity. I definitely feel like clarity is coming in for you guys. Um, maybe this person is coming in, but they're a little hesitant about speaking some truth to you. <clears throat> they're they're not eager but there is definitely some truth to be spoken and I feel like they want to but they're not coming in fast okay this night is on foot they're not coming in fast they're just contemplating it because they know that you're not moving okay they know you're not coming towards them they know that you are like forward moving okay what's coming in for them is the four of wands now, either this person is gaining their stability back, their stability back within themselves, you know, kind of feeling happy again, trying to, you know, involve themselves with um, people, surrounding themselves with people. Um, they may even have like a roommate situation here where they're, they're living with other people working with other people here um, or either this person is entering into a relationship like something they've just started but yet still still feeling very regretful about whatever happened with you guys okay so let's let's clarify this four of wands and see what that is here hmm. why is the four of wands here why is the four of wands here the four of wands okay there we have it again the four of cups Hmm. I think this is all about them and their stability, okay? Because the four is a very stable energy, and this is somebody that's feeling very complacent, not really trying to allow love in, um, not trying to allow love to f affect them, their emotions to to be overcome by involving themselves with somebody else. Now, this is also all about self here, especially with the Five of Cups being there. This is the Nine of Cups. This person just trying to do things to make themselves happy here. But I feel like it's like this false um, sense of happiness this person has going on because everything is like about, um, about what happened between you guys, I feel, okay? Let's see what your blockage is here. 
What is Taurus's blockage? Taurus's blockage. Please show me what Taurus's blockage is here. Being hurt. Disappointment. Still not over it. Every every time you try to take, you know, three steps forward, you get knocked back two steps. So it's like, you know, it's still front and center. It's still there. Like having to deal with the hurt. Not having dealt with the hurt is what the blockage is. Um, there's still a lot that you guys, you know, you still focus on, you still think about here with this person that happened here. Okay? What is their blockage? Hmm. Not having a confidence that this could work out. This person's, you know, they, they're having, excuse me, way too many regrets here. Their focus is elsewhere other than, you know, what it is that they really want. And that, that's the Two of Cups. So they can't manifest anything in this state. They, they can't do that. They can't do that. It's not going to bring them what they want. But they're wanting it, though. They're, wa they're wanting to, you know, make things right here with justice. But um, there's a lot of healing that they need to do as well here. Because you can't, you can't produce good things if you're feeling down in the dumps, you know. Let's see what the advice is here. What is the advice for Taurus? Page of Cups. Hmm. Maybe there's something you guys need to talk about here with, um, you know, pretending to what happened between the two of you. Maybe you need to work out your feelings, okay? Um, I think that, you know, if it's you guys that need to make an apology, which I'm not saying that it is, but it's more so about addressing, you know, what you feel like hurt you, and then addressing also reconciling those feelings of, um, you know, what you did to hurt someone else or hurt this person. Like reconciling those feelings, like seeing things from, from both sides, okay? Because both of you are hurt here, okay? And then there is like the reality of the situation. I don't feel like anyone is like, you know, solely responsible. There may be more responsibility or more accountability that one of you needs to take on, but you know, rarely it's one sided. And so, if there's something that you feel like you need to, you know, take responsibility for, this is what this is, okay? This is what this is taking accountability, taking responsibility for the things that you have actually done, all right? So, Let's see what their advice is here. What is, okay. What is their advice? Six of Cups. Look at this. I feel like this is your destiny, for sure. I feel like you guys are probably, um, you know, this was pop more than likely meant to be your life partner. But there again, free will is at play. Okay. But um, the energy is definitely here. And I feel like it, it's eventually going to lead you guys back together, especially if both of you do the work, which there, you know, it appears that, you know, lots of work needs to be done here. Lots of healing needs to be done here um, in order for this to come back together. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is here for you guys. Ace of Cups. This is all about healing. This is all about accepting the love from God. Um, healing yourself. Being more compassionate. Being more loving. Um, being, you know, compromising in situations where, you know, there needs to be a compromise. You know. Hmm. Starting over again. Offering your love. Offering love. Accepting love. You know, all of that. Okay. And theirs is the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Worrying. Worrying, worrying, worrying. A worry wart. Because we see here with the Five of Cups, this person is just like feeling dreadful. Feeling dreadful. Wanting to come out of it. Um, wanting to move on. But I feel like there's something that needs to be addressed here with justice. Okay, Some unfinished business between the two of you. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if if 
this individual did something horribly wrong here um but they're definitely thinking about it they they are being haunted by the memories um good memories bad memories more good memories though because i think that is why they are feeling so very sorrowful here because now it's like they're realizing that you mean more to them um than they initially realized is what i'm getting here and they're really trying not to think about this thing here with the four of cups all right putting their focus on something else other people family friends um, roommates work buddies what have you all right guys so we have aries here capricorn um, libra aquarius scorpio um, virgo energy gemini energy is here okay um pisces cancer just about every sign is here um but I see the earth sign that I see prevalent is Capricorn and they may have something like a Capricorn moon or something like that okay but um, that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon